solved problems dissolution of partnership problem p and q agree to dissolve partnership on 31st december on which date their balance sheet was as follows they have given the balance sheet liabilities and assets and other conditions and adjustments for the dissolution so before preparing the solution to this partnership dissolution problem let us discuss the rules how to dissolve the partnership firm and what are the entries to be passed how to make the solution to this problem introduction subject to contract between the partners a firm is ordinarily dissolved under any of the following conditions a by mutual agreement between the partners to dissolve b if constituted for a fixed term by the expiry of that term c if constituted to carry on one or more adventures or undertakings by the completion thereof c by the death of a partner e by the adjudication of a partner as an insolvent f where the partnership is at will by any partner giving notice in writing to all the other partners of his intention to dissolve the firm g on the insolvency of the partnership business itself right of partners on dissolution on the dissolution of a firm every partner or his representative is entitled as against all the other partners or their representatives to have the property of the firm applied in payment of the debts and liabilities of the firm and to have the surplus distributed among the partners or their representatives according to their rights continuing authority of partners on dissolution after the dissolution of a firm the authority of each partner to bind the firm and the other mutual rights and obligations of the partners continue not withstanding the dissolution so far as may be necessary to wind up the affairs of the firm and to complete the transactions begun but unfinished at the time of dissolution but not otherwise mode of settlement of accounts in settling the accounts of the firm after dissolution the following rules shall subject to agreement by the partners be observed a losses including deficiencies of capital shall be paid first out of profits next out of capital and lastly if necessary by the partners individually in the proportions in which they were entitled to share profits mode of settlement of accounts b the assets of the firm including any sums contributed by the partners to make up deficiencies of capital shall be applied in the following manner and order 1 in paying the debts of the firm to the third parties 2 in paying the each partner rateably what is due to him from the firm for advances as distinguished from capital 3 in paying to each partner rateably what is due to him on account of capital and the residue if any shall be divided among the partners in the proportions in which they were entitled to share profits firm debts and a separate debt where there are joint debts due from also separate debts due from any partner the property of the firm shall be applied in the first instance in payment of the debts of the firm and if there is a surplus then the share of each partner shall be applied in payment of his separate debts are paid to him the separate property of any partner shall be applied first in the payment of his separate debts and the surplus if any in the payment of the debts of the firm steps on dissolution of partnership on dissolution of partnership the following steps are necessary one the partnership assets including goodwill are sold two the proceeds thus realized are first utilized in paying off the debts and liabilities of the firm to persons who are not partners therein three any partner who has advanced money to the firm will then be paid out his loan each partner will then be paid rateably what is due from the firm to him in respect of his capital five if there is any surplus arising from the realization of assets and left after the above payments 
the same will be divided among the partners in the proportions in which profits are divisible. Realization account Dissolution accounts will naturally have to be maintained showing what amounts were realized on sale of assets, what liabilities were liquidated, what profits or loss arose as a result of realization and how the partner's accounts were adjusted in se. A special account styled realization account will have to be opened for this purpose in order that the whole of the above information may be ascertained therefrom. Entries on dissolution on dissolution of business, the following entries are necessary to record the realization of assets and the adjustment of accounts between the partners. 1. Open a realization account and transfer there to all the assets at book value with the exception of cash and bank accounts. Thus, closing all asset accounts, the entry will be to debit realization account and credit each asset account. 2. Transfer all the liabilities other than loan from a partner to the realization account at book values by debiting each liability account and crediting the realization account. The effect of this entry will be to close all the separate liability accounts and bring those on the credit of realization account. 3. On the assets being sold, debit a bank account and credit a realization account with the sale proceeds. 4. When any partner takes over any asset at an agreed value, such partner's capital account is debited and credit the realization account. 5. Debit the realization account and credit bank account with the amounts paid out in respect of liabilities. 6. The debit realization account and credit bank with the expenses incurred in connection with the dissolution. 7. The balance on realization account will be transferred to profit or loss on realization account. 8. Transfer such profit or loss to the partners in the proportion in which they share profits. 9. If there is a loan by a partner, the same will be paid out and the entry will be to debit the partner's loan account and credit bank. 10. If any partner's capital account shows a debit balance, the partner concerned must bring in cash to make good the deficiency the entry being to debit bank account and credit such partner's capital account. 11. The balance at bank will now exactly equal to the total of balances on the capital accounts of the partners. Each partner will be paid what is ultimately owing to him by the firm as shown by his respective capital account. The entry will be to debit each partner's capital account and to credit the bank account. Notes. A. If there are balances on partners' current accounts, debit or credit, the same will have to be transferred to the respective capital accounts prior to the final distribution of cash among the partners. B. If there is any cash balance at the date of the resolution, the same should be transferred over to the bank account and the amount should be paid into the bank. The bank account should not be closed by transfer of realization account as it will have to be operated upon till the final distribution of cash among the partners. Finally, goodwill on dissolution. Upon a dissolution of partnership, the goodwill of the firm will have to be realized along with the other assets for the common benefit of all intents to carry it on in this same old name. The value of goodwill will have to be determined in accordance with the basis, if any, as laid down in the partnership agreement and where no agreement exists by mutual understanding among the partners. The amount as then agreed upon as representing the goodwill value will have to be debited or goodwill account and credited to the capital accounts of all the partners in the same proportions as they share profits. The capital account of the partner who takes over the business will have to be debited with the full value of goodwill and realization account will be credited. The problem. P and Q agree to dissolve partnership on 31st December on which date their balance sheet was as follows. Liabilities and Assets On asset side, cash 1000, sundry debtors 5000, stock 20000, plant and fixtures 14000, goodwill 4000, total assets 44000, and the liabilities, sundry creditors 6000, peace loan account 8000, 
capital accounts of P 20,000, Q 10,000, total capital accounts 33,000, total liabilities 44,000. The partners share profits and losses in proportion to their capitals. The sundry debtors realized 4,200, stock 18,000, plant and fixtures 20% less than the book value and the goodwill 6,000. The creditors were paid off at a discount of 5% and the cost of dissolution amounted to 600. Pass the necessary general entries to show the process of realization and open the dissolution accounts showing the final disposal of cash balance. Solution General Entries Realization account data 43,000 to sundry data 5,000 to stock 20,000 to plant and fixtures 14,000 to goodwill 4,000 being the transfer of the above assets to realization account at book values. Second entry sundry data 6,000 to realization account 6,000 being the transfer of sundry creditors to realization account. Bank account debtor 39,400 to realization account being the amount on sale of assets as under sundry debtors 4,200, stock 18,000, plant and fixtures 11,200, goodwill 6,000, total 39,400. Next entry realization account debtor to bank realization expenses paid. Next entry. Realization account debtor 5700 to bank being the payment of sundry liabilities at a discount of 5%. Next entry. P's capital account debtor, Q's capital account debtor to realization account 3900 being the transfer of loss on realization of partners' capital accounts in their profit sharing proportions. That is 2 is to 1, 2600 to P and 1300 to Q. Next entry. Peace loan account debtor 8000 to bank 8000 being the payment of loan by a P to the firm. Peace capital account debtor 17400. Q's capital account debtor 8700 to bank 26100 being the withdrawal by the partners of the balances standing to their capital accounts now transferred. Realization account Debit said to sundry assets transfer 43,000 to bank cost of realization 600 to bank liabilities paid 5,700 sundry liabilities transfer 6,000 bank assets realized 39,400 capital accounts last transferred 2,600 to P 1,300 to Q total 3,900 last total debits on realization account is 49,300 Total credits on realization account is 49,300. Next, peace loan account. On the credit side, by balance brought on 8,000. On the debit side, to two bank, 8,000. That means peace loan is paid off. Next, peace capital account. On the credit side, by balance brought on 20,000. And on the debit side, realization account last 2,600. And to bank is for the settlement of his account, 17,400. Similarly, Q's capital account. On the credit side, by balance brought down 10,000 and on the debit side to realize his account one third share of last 1,300 and the balance 8,700 is paid through bank to bank 8,700 and settled his account. Finally, bank account. On the debit side, balance brought down 1,000, realization account sundry assets realized 39,400 and on the credit side, how the amounts are utilized in the bank account are through by realization account cost of realization 600 realization account payment of liabilities 5700 to peace loan account 8000 and peace capital account 17400 and q's capital account 8700 total 40400 has been distributed properly and the bank account is closed in the next lecture we will discuss about the insolvency of a partner decision in Garner versus Murray.